What's up everyone, my name is Paul, and today we have another episode of the Ratchet Clank HD Collection. And as you can see, there's a, a gadget just waiting there for me, which is kind of weird. And I grabbed it. That's just great. Anyway, this is the Tractor Beam Deflector Reflector, I think something like that. They always have these really cool names in this game. Oh, that guy got just busted up. Now when you right. equip this gadget, the Refractor, oh, wait, what was that? Oh, the when you use the refractor, you, you can just walk into the path of the beams and redirect it like this. Weird, the, the sensitivity is weird. And use the left you can kill enemies with it, and I think that's also a skill point, so if you guys want to go ahead and try that, be my guest. Get off of me! Alright, so we just want to reflect it to that one. You can reflect it first, then you can turn this bolt in order to get into position, but I'd rather do it this way. I kind of like doing this. This should reflect it right onto this one. I like these puzzles, they're really cool. Adding more gameplay variety, you're not just blasting stuff, there's actually a few puzzles. Clean my car, <coughs> What was that? I don't know. I was hoping I could just reflect it, I don't even have to do anything. And then we gotta reflect it over here, and then we can reflect it from that. Now we're, we're pretty much reflecting it out of mid-air, which is pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Nice. There we go. And this one's reflecting upwards, it's just kind of weird. Makes me nervous. Dum dum did Oh, so we're going upward, and then we gotta hit that one. Really is a puzzle, but oh, I remember this. This is epic. Oh shit! Get off! Why are you touching me like that, bro? No! You can actually get hurt by this la laser if you touch it. And look at this bridge. Oh, it's so great. I like these steps too. They light up, but they tilt. If that was in real life, I'd shat myself. Yes, I'd shat. Past tense for the win. Ratchet, there should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. I'll use, use the beam to lead it. Oh, I was about to say we need a spider bot. Ratchet and Clank. Two skill points, bolts, and guides. Reminiscing about that. Come on, get up here. There we go. Reflex it over there. Thank you very much. These little guys are just everywhere. There we need the Magna Boost is very well hidden into the architecture of this magnificent place. If you want, you can grab all the titanium bolts and just clean it up when I show you guys the guide. But otherwise, I don't think it's that good of an idea. Just move this over here. Get up here. And there you go. Alright, so we gotta reflect this into these two spots. What the hell? Okay, physics, you gotta help me. Oh, okay, I see it. I was like, well, how is this gonna reach in there? I hated physics. Back in physics class days, back in the 11th grade. Oh, those are some good times, by the way. Um, my teacher used to have this really strong accent. And uh, at first he had a really cool teacher. He was a Canadian dude. He could talk perfect English and stuff. But then afterwards we got this guy who couldn't learn shit. Everybody failed the class. Anyway, over here. Hey, look, it's Al. Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating! What the? That's a Quark Vid comic. Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypassed the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogrammed a graphic subprocessor. No, no, I mean, it's... Uh, uh, Clank, you speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive check thumb on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. 
I don't know what happened to me with the thing I May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is the first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. And I think because of him playing video games, we just sent this place to hell. So, we head back to the ship with this teleporter that could have been there before we even came here. And we're gonna return to our ship. Yes, and take this giant aircraft back to our ship because that is the most economical way after a war-torn environment. This is something President Bush would do, I guarantee it. Anyway, I still think the guy that sells tuxedos. You're gonna like the way you look. And look at that beast of a ship. Oh, purple. So cool. I have a ton of bolts, but I don't want to spend it right now. Uh, yeah, we gotta play the- it tells you the missions right there. Very organized. Okay, so upon landing the Starship Phoenix, what you want to do is head to your quarters and head to that VG system that's godlike. Back in the day, that's what we thought was going to be the next console, but it was not. And then when you hit here, uh, there's... Let me just throw something out. You douchebag! You lie! Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. Oh, look at that troll face. Somebody somebody photoshopped that into a troll face. Look at that chin. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic ape. In the early days of the 5th Solarian Equinox, the Solana Galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Yes, reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, so we have to play this Quark minigame, which is kind of funny as hell. Anyway, to get a titanium bolt, you have to collect all of those tokens. Now, I'm not going to collect all because they do give you bolts, but if I get that titanium bolt, that's going to jack up my guide. So, aside from that, we're just going to beat the crap out of the enemies and try to rush through. We don't really have to. But look at me just ninjuring my way out of there. And there is a cheat code in this. You can actually make... Uh, Cork dress up in a tutu, and that's in a cutscene that's gonna come up later on, telling you the code. So if you guys want to know, it's gonna be showing up in the cutscene. Anyway, I'm gonna rush this guy. I can punch through everything. He is like a Captain Falcon or something with these punches. Falcon punch! Oh, look at all those rats! That guy got snuffed. And here's the boss battle. No? Yes. Oh. Circle to fire my blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming. And he's gone. But you guys get a quick look at what's the boss like. Take your time throughout these parts because if you just rush, you're gonna get nowhere. And I think you have to beat this in a certain amount of time as well. I'm not really sure. Please, no titanium bolt. Please. No. That is my biggest fear right now. If I get that so early on in the Let's Play, that is going to jack everything. Now I'm gonna get to this. Oh, I can make it. Oh, he can hang on ledges? I forgot about that. In your face. No, no, no! Okay, now I think I'm not taking my own advice. Teabag the floor. It looks like he's on the phone or he's derping it. Nothing? Okay. My little laser ray. This thing is overpowered. It's had one shot to kill. Take a 
Take time. That's a checkpoint, right? Nice juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in Alright, so the gun's gonna fall from the sky, and then where is the boss? Here's the boss. Nice. They did some damage there. Doing some damage. Oh shit, it's coming after me! And I have no ammo. Thank you. Oh, that's all I had. I could have punched him. Oh, there. Bam! Where the hell is he coming from? Where's he coming from? Up top? Oh shit! Get off of me! I couldn't fire. I was trying to fire him when I was hanging off the ledge, and I would have been like, yes, I'm boss. He's moving faster. Not good. Not good at all. There you go. You could see that he was actually aiming for me. There we go. With one hit left, I think I got him. Yeah! I didn't even take a hit. And, uh, yeah, this is where the game used to break on me all the time whenever I used to play it. I played the shit out of the game, it froze up on the loading screens and stuff. I could never play the vid comics. That's why I ended up going back to the store and, like, give me back my money. I want another copy. Five times. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes a cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. I want anything. We're idiots. Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. A charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. <laughs> yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack? Yes, sir, I'm on my way! The exciting, all-true, right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in Episode 2. That handsome devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway, <laughs> the device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course! Let's meet tonight's victim! Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred! Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a morpho ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. Okay, so we can head to Annihilation Nation now, and now that Quark's returned with his memories, that's kind of weird, I just shouldn't have done that, that's a bad idea. We're gonna just end things off right now, because I think we've done a lot. Let me see if there's any armor upgrades or anything that I can buy now, because I really want to get some. There are some beast armors, just like in the second game here, and I don't have any, okay. Over his head. I would have gotten annoyed if someone was jumping around my head. I mean, come on. Buy my ammo. Nice guns, but I don't want to. And I I swear I use this, but it's glitchy as hell. Okay. And any ship upgrades. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to subscribe for more. It's free. Like the video if you guys can. It really means a lot to me. 
favorite if you guys really do like it and then uh if you can share this on facebook and twitter my name is paul and i am out look at my beast ship peace